Rob Boy 46 here, welcome yourselves back to MotoGP 21 on the Xbox Series X. It's time to do the last three races in the uh, the season. So we're going to Red uh, Red Bull Ring, going to uh, Phillip Island next. And it is going to be dry in all sessions. Sepang probably won't be, Valencia probably will. But yeah, let's see how we get on at Phillip Island. The championship's basically over. The gap, I believe, is too big. If Fabio beats us this time... Um, then yeah, he's gonna pretty much wrap it up. So he needs six more points than me, basically, to wrap it up. Because we haven't won that many races this season. So even on count back, he would still win. So yeah, six more points he needs to score than me uh, at this race to basically... If we leave here... Um, if we leave Phillip Island and he's got more than a 50-point lead, that's it. Game over. Right, let's see if we can defend a little bit longer. Come on, let's try and get a good lap in. Someone's just come out the pits. It's okay, they're not going to get in the way this time. Too hot into that. It's Rossi. We're close on time at the moment. Oh, that's wide. Okay, we've got the bike stopped. Yeah, one more degree of track temperature has really made a difference to the soft tyres. They are trying to overheat quite, quite quickly, which is not ideal. whether they last the remainder of this lap. Hopefully they will. We're still under. We're still under. This is where we're going to lose a bit of time, I think. Oh, we're half a second under Quattararo's time. And we have a cooked rear tyre now. Rossi's taking the uh, shortcut through turn one. We're starting on pole. Look where Quattararo's starting. Down in seventh place. Mir has poked his head up to second. All right. Let's see what we get on with the race. Right then. Time to go racing. Track temperature 32. Soft front, medium rear. Okay. Let's go. See what we can do. Mir's gone for the same, so it's Bang Yaya. Alright, here we go. Good start. Oh, door's going to be wide open. Good through stoners. Right, let's keep going. Oh, right. nearly hit the curb then. I lost us a bit of time. Someone's gone down. Fabio in sixth place at the moment. Okay, we're going to have some uh, company very soon, I think.
keep going, keep going, keep pushing. Not too much that we end up making mistakes, but just keep going. Oh, wide, too wide. Oh, Bangai has gone down. That's promoted Fabio up to fourth. Left hand side of the rear tyre is overheating. And it's half done already. Quattro, fastest lap of the race. Expecting Fabio to get inside the top three very shortly. Oh, that's wide. Too wide. Yeah, that rear tyre is not in good condition at the moment. Okay, messed up turn one that. Bit too hot into it. We're running out of grip already. This doesn't bode well. Too hot. I can hear that Suzuki. Want it a little bit too hot there. Come on. Okay. Oliver is there as well. Yeah, the rear is really starting to move around now. No, don't, don't force me wide. Oh, man, just going for the inside. He's going to have it. Oh, and Oliveira.
We're not close enough to get past me. Oh, he's gone wide there. Still not close enough to have a lunge. Although, oh, nearly. That would have been a very late move. Oh, God. Okay, this is it, the final lap. We're not close enough still. That's too wide. Come on, Yamaha. It's not going to work, though, unfortunately. Bit of a moment on the brakes for myself there. And we certainly don't have enough guts to get him to the line, even on power map in three. We're closing, but not enough. I needed the line to be just a little bit further. We do close the points on Fabio, but not by much. That was very, very close at the end there. Less than a tenth of a second. 37 points. That is not enough. Ah, So two races to go. 50 points left on the table. But Fabio can wrap it up quite easily at Sepang now. Especially if it's going to be wet, which it probably will. So over to part fair, mate. Second place again. I don't think we're going to get any more wins this season. I mean, we have beaten Fabio, but like I said, Sepang is going to be completely different. I can imagine if it's wet. I mean, it'll either be a wet qualifying or um, a wet race. It's going to be one of those, and... Yeah, whichever one it's going to be, it's really going to hinder us because I think we can get straight through to Q2. But if it's wet qualifying, we'll be starting down in 12th. If we can qualify well, but it's a wet race, then, you know, it's, it's definitely going to be a very, very difficult race. But um, it might surprise me and do a uh, dry qualifying and dry um, race. But then it'll probably do wet free practice. But... Yeah, I don't have a lot of faith in Sepang. It's usually at least one, um, one wet session. But we're going to find out. We are going to find out. So, yeah, all Fabio needs to do is either beat me or finish literally one place behind me. And, uh, yeah, that'll be his job done. We've got a new candidate. Okay. Five laps. It's going to be wet, isn't it? Going to be wet. Okay. That's actually not bad because we'll skip FP3. We'll do FP2 instead. 
That's not bad. There were wet sessions, but none that we have to uh, take part in. Okay, this could change things a little bit. Only had to do one lap and we're straight through to Q2 and uh, quickest overall, which is good. Right, let's go qualify. So, let's change tyres. 49 degrees. I mean, you would say hards for this, but um, I think I'm going to stick with the mediums. See how we get on. See how we get on. Right, let's go with qualifying them. Psycho's done a 58.7. I have just had a crash as well, which is not good. And that is way too hot under turn one. Okay, we're just under the time at the moment. As wide. Okay, we're still under, but only just. I managed to do a fifty-eight zero in free practice. I know track temperatures were a lot cooler. But, um, yeah, we should be able to beat that that time, you would have thought. Half a second under at the moment. Use a bit of Zarco for slipstream. wide with him. Use him again. There we go. A little bit quicker. 57.9. Well, quite a bit quicker. Alicia Spargo went quickest overall. We've done a 57.9. So we're starting on pole from Alicia in second. Miguel Oliveira third. Quattararo down in seventh just behind his teammate who had to come through Q1. All right, penultimate race of the season. Can we hold on for another race? Let's see. Right, it's time for the penultimate race of the season. 43 degrees. Medium front I'm going for. It's suggesting a hard. Go for a hard rear, though, because I don't think the medium will last. Pazarco's gone for a medium, though. Right, let's do it. Good start, please. Here we go. Was a good start, was a very good start. Yeah, got stopped for turn one. Nice, that's the main thing. Someone's gone down. Wasn't Fabio though. I think Vinales just crashed and I thought it was uh, Fabio for a moment there. I tell you what, I think that they have nerfed the Suzuki's off the starts. And I think they have now upgraded the Ducatis as well. Because they seem to be getting a lot of uh, fight from the Ducatis at the moment. I mean, Alicia's a prettier is doing pretty well as well, actually, to be fair. He's currently in second place. Okay, that 
It's too wide. Okay. Oh, for God's sake. We we'll beat him to the line, but we're going to have to watch out for that. Luckily, a similar thing didn't happen to what happened to us with uh, Quattararo a few rounds ago. I'm so glad I didn't go for the hard front tyre because I think that would have been moving around just a little bit too much for my liking. You can hear that KTM in third. Quattarari still down in sixth. I mean, that is good news for us. Right, we should have a big enough gap now to be okay from a lunge from a leash. And we are. Fast slap the race, 58-5. Can we break the toe now? Wasn't very good. Lost us a lot of time. That was better. Okay, we actually lost time there out of that corner. Get a little bit wide. Quattro is still down in sixth. This may keep our championship alive, but not by much. Okay, I literally don't know how we kept the uh, 
Oh god, the bike slowed down in time there, because that was a uh, bit of a moment on the brakes. Curve a bit there. We've got one more lap to go. Okay, this is it. Final lap. Come on, keep going. Stay concentrated for the final lap. Quattroari still in sixth. I mean, is this actually going to be enough if we do win this race? Okay, we've got a bit of a gap from Elish, which should stop him from pouncing. Just about got the rear under control there, wrong gear as well. We're going to win at Sepang! We're going to win at Sepang! Oh, have we kept it alive though? Have we kept it alive? Quattraro sixth place. Ooh. What's the damage? Oh, 22. 22 points. Basically, we have to win the final race and hope that Quattraro has a DNF. Wow. It's going to the final race, but it's not looking good for us. It's not looking good. We've chipped away in the last three races. But yeah, it's uh, it's not good. Not good. 22 points. That is uh, quite a healthy lead to be going into the final race with. And Valencia doesn't always finish the way we want it to. But yeah, I was going to say, if... Uh, Fabio wrapped it up I would have done the next race now but I think I'll leave it leave you guys in suspense for a uh, for a day and uh, we'll obviously do it next time the final race because uh, I'm stressed at the moment <laughs> I will check out actually what the sessions are going to be like for Valencia just so that we can see you know is there going to be any wet sessions? 
Is it all going to be dry? I don't know what it's going to be. We have one at Sepang though, and that's what? Probably our second win of the season. We haven't had many. We have not had many. It's a shame we couldn't win at Phillip Island as well, because that would have brought it below 20 points, but it is what it is. So Valencia next week. Oh, it's a wet race. Wet, free practice, dry qualifying, wet race. That's not good. That's not good to go into the last round when we're 22 points behind. Right, Moto3, Pedro Costa has that wrapped up now. He has won the championship from his teammate Messia in second place. Antonelli third, Binder fourth and Garcia in fifth. Moto2, Remy Gardner leads that now by one point from Sam Lowe's in second. That goes down to the final race. Raul Fernandez is out of it in third. Pizzecki fourth and Digi in fifth. And MotoGP... Quattro leads by 22 points from myself in second. It's literally just between the two of us. Mir is third, Zarco fourth, and Vinales is in fifth. And the thing is, even if Quattro crashes at the next race and doesn't score any points, it's not looking very likely that I'm going to win the race. But um, we'll have to wait and see. But yeah, that's it from me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave this video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel for more content. I shall see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to stay safe, watch hands, look after yourselves. See you guys next time. See you!